In this video, I want to talk to you about accessors. We're also going to be adding health packs to our game. So on the top left, I have a health bar, and notice when I click space, I remove health. And we're going to make it to where when I run into health packs, it's actually going to give me hit points. So let's go ahead and do this. Now in our project, I have object player right here, and I have a variable called hit points. Uh, and we did this in the last video. We set up a, uh, a health bar. Don't feel like you need to go back and watch that video unless you want to. But uh, this variable hit points kind of controls everything. When we click space, it removes 25 from the hit points. Now, for the sake of what we're talking about in this video, which is accessors, I'm going to go to my health pack object. I'm going to add an event. I'm going to say it's a collision event, objects, object player. And when we collide with the player, we're going to say object player dot hit points plus equals 25. So this is called an accessor, uh, this period right here. Basically, you can manipulate, copy, change, access any variable from any object by doing this right here, object player dot whatever variable you want. And this does not have to be in a collision event. We could make a step event um, and say something like, which this would be <laughs> ridiculous to do. <laughs> uh, we could do sh show message. Um, oh, I don't want quotes. We could say object box dot whatever variable that's in my, uh, object box, you know. So I'm just pointing this out because don't think just because we're colliding with player, we can only access players. That's the point I'm trying to make. This is called an accessor. And... Uh, so we're literally going to change the value of the player's hit point variable from a whole nother object. And then we're also going to say instance destroy. This will destroy the actual health pack. So when we run the game, we can damage our hit points. When we run into these, it gives our player hit points, which is pretty cool. Now, uh, one thing we'll fix if you're following along in the series, uh, notice that it will heal me above where we want it to heal. Look at that health bar getting bigger than it should be. So we need to cap that out. So in our object player, um, we're gonna go to our step event and uh, we, we can just put it right here somewhere. Uh, just somewhere in your step event go, if hit points is greater than max hit points, uh, then you can say hit points equals max hit points. Because in our create event, we do have a variable called max hit points, which is the highest it can go. So you, you have to have that variable right here, max hit points. So now we're not going to have that problem. But that's an accessor. And uh, you can access a lot of things. Um, you can access, of course, any object in the game. You could also access things like, the, you know, I haven't talked about this yet. I'll talk about it in the next video. But every object has a unique ID. And we could access that. So we could say, um, let, let's say, uh, let's see, mouse left pressed. Uh, when we, whenever we click on the health pack, we could say show message ID. Every object in the game, uh, when you run the game, will have this uh, ID variable built into it. And this is the unique ID of this health pack. So when we run the game, uh, we have four health packs. Each ID is going to be different. So we're going to see that. And uh, no, this, that's 1,000, well, that's more than 1,000, but uh, 100,013, this one's going to be 100,012, 100,015. So notice each one of these has a unique ID. We could access the player's unique ID. We could say obj under slash player dot ID. So now, it doesn't matter which one we click, it's going to show us the player's ID, which is going to be 100,000. Uh, okay, so, you know, sky's the limit. You can access any variable that you want. Um, you know, we could change the player's speed so we can make it to where, um, let's delete that, where when we collide with the object player, instead of healing, we could say, um, what's the speed variable? Player speed uh, equals, I don't know, 15. So now he's going to run faster. So we do this. Whoa, now he's running super fast. There's a lot you can do with accessors. It's something that you need to know. There's other kinds of accessors we'll talk about in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on X, x.com slash wizardy. I'm also on Instagram, instagram.com slash wizardy. We also have a Discord. I'd love to see you on there. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. All of that helps with the algorithm. And everybody who's been engaging with this channel, you, you are helping us grow. Thank you so very much. 
I've been doing tutorials since 2010, and I don't plan to stop now. So I'll see you next video.